Hey guys, what's going on? Joker88 here. We have another DIY video for you guys today. So today, we are working on installing the rear camera for the Alfa Romeo 4C. Let me tell you, let me, let me show you guys what we got. Uh, one of our forum members over there at the 4C forum told us uh, he went ahead and got a reverse light for a Fiat Punto on eBay. And that's what I got. I just got this uh, rear camera that already has the connection for the, uh, the tail light right there. Okay, so with that thing out, so all I gotta do is, is literally screw that in there and then start my wiring. One of our four members actually wired his from uh, taking the power from here, from the light itself. And uh, his thing is, I guess it's connected to some Wi-Fi thing and what's gonna happen is, uh, to activate it, you need to turn a light on, okay? And uh, I think he's decided to do that because he wants um, uh, that latency for the Wi-Fi for all them to connect and all that jazz. But I'm gonna go with the, the, the reverse lights. I bought a uh, receiver and a transmitter for the video signals. And this is what I got right here. This is the receiver that's gonna be plugged into our head unit, the drawing head unit inside. Okay. That connects to the camera will be this side. And one thing, this is the, this is the camera side that has the two uh, inputs. So the thing is, I didn't wanna to have to take out the trunk liner inside, right? I don't wanna take the trunk liner out best thing to do is I went straight from here I took out the um, the existing uh, uh, license plate lights right and what I did was I'm like okay so how am I gonna get the power from here so I went underneath the car so I went under the car and what did I find uh, so what I did was I took that cable as you can see it's all the way out here in my hand here and I dropped it. There's a like a little gap. You see that gap where the, where the cable's coming out of right there? All I did was first I just stuck it in there and I'm like, okay, I'm not seeing it. What I did was I so I tied this heavy bolt and then I went ahead and just dropped it in there and I fished it out. Worked perfectly. So now, because the reverse light is right here, let me show you where the power is at. Okay, so the plug is right there for the reverse lights. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap from here, right? And neatly tuck everything away so that it's nice and clean. Okay, so let's go and attach these guys to these cables. Okay, so this is the connector that we're gonna be using, okay? And what's gonna happen is we're gonna take one side from here Stick this in here, crimp it in. So then later, on the power side, we're gonna go ahead and do this. Boop, it becomes a sun.
all crimped and ready to go. Now let's tackle the reverse light. Okay, now we're gonna attach the um, connectors to the camera. Yellow to yellow, red to red. Okay, so it seems like uh, the yellow and black. So we'll have to tap into the yellow and black. And uh, where's the reverse camera? So it looks like we have to do the 12 volt in the ground. And uh, camera in. Looks like that's it. So 12 volt ground and camera. Um, one of our viewers actually said, Hey Joe, man, I did that thing. I installed a joint and followed your, th your instructions and stuff like that, but my unit is loose. Okay, so to fix that is this. Inside, let me go ahead and focus. Inside, see that tab right there with the little ball at the tip? Right there. You want to get like um, a fillet, no, I mean, you get like a flathead screwdriver and push it out on both sides. Okay, once you push that out, it's going to lock in every time it gets to it. And that'll solve your problem because it'll click into one of those on the sides, one of these holes. to go on? A rear camera turning on? No? Camera. Okay, so let's give you guys some update on what, um, this is the following day. I couldn't, I couldn't let it be the way it was because when I, when I plug in the power, this receiver right here is on the entire time uh, so it looked like this so the red light was on the whole time and then when I went to check it out it was getting super hot so either when I tapped into the power the power is the yellow line here and of course the black is the ground uh, you have to attach the back cable with a join along with that power for it to activate the camera so the problem that I have was, I didn't, even though, let's say, it was working fine, well, it was working fine, but this is going to be on the whole time. And I don't want that uh, as another uh, thing that is discharging or pulling power from the battery. So what I decided to do is come up with a switch. I just bought like a rocker switch here that uh, I'm going to be mounting somewhere on the car. And I don't really want to mount it, hard mount it, because, I mean, my reasoning is I have the limited edition car and... <sighs> You know, it's kind of like when people, when you collect sports cards, and I collect sports cards, and the second, like, you know, someone puts a signature on it, you kind of ruin it, in a sense, right? The value of it, or whatever. So I'm trying to keep this car as clean as possible with no uh, modification that I, that I cannot return back to stock. So all the modifications I've done in this car, I can put it back into stock. What I'm, what I'm doing is I'm just going to mount this probably underneath where I put my sub line and just double side tape it and and um, yeah to me it's it's best that way so let's get back to it so I bought a, a rocker switch and I try to get the most you know discreet as possible and let's see so if I hit my switch now it shuts it off so when I do want to go in reverse I just gotta make sure I turn this on and then the reverse light uh, my uh, the reverse camera will then go on so I think that is the best solution that I have right now and this is the wireless solution again I'm trying to do everything where I can put everything back in the stock I'd love to run the wire all the way from the back but I know that's gonna be a pain in the butt maybe some other time so that we can get a direct feed from the camera instead of wireless let's go finish this uh, install and we'll go from there alright guys well we are done man holy cow what a cool project here. So let's check out what we got. 
Okay, so here we go. I went ahead and bought the, like I said, the reverse camera, the Punto one for a Fiat Punto, which mounts perfectly back there, as you can see. All angles, very discreet. We pulled the power from the reverse taillight, and I showed you the process on how I got the wires down there without removing the, uh, the trunk liner, right, the tub, so it's perfect. Now inside, like I said, we have the wireless transmitter and receiver. The wireless transmitter was hooked into the joining unit. And the problem that I had was that when I looked at the power, the joining unit is always on. And I can't have that because we got the switch in here. You can barely see it. Uh, the light on, you can barely see it. There it is. Hello. And again, that's just in there. Uh, I just double sided tape it. So you're like, oh man, come on, show me how this damn thing works. Okay, so the way we have it is this. Because without the switch, the receiver in the back, it's always going to be on. That's a bummer. Because yesterday, like I told you earlier, it got really hot. So I was like, no way, that's not going to work. So let's start the car. Car starts. Alright, no check engine light. Very good. Let's go in reverse. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit reverse. Well, actually, I'm gonna turn on the the I'm gonna turn on the Wi-Fi unit. Or well, I mean, I'm gonna turn on the wireless unit. Turn on the switch. I'm gonna hit reverse. As you can see, it says no signal. I'm gonna hit reverse. All right, there it is, man. You can kind of see all those lines from the wireless signal. That's okay. I mean, how often do I go backwards? <laughs> okay. So now what happens when you go to drive? So when I go to drive, it goes away. So now you're like, oh my God. Because my wife was like, well, how are you going to know you shut it off? Well, that's what's going to happen. It's always going to show no signal, right? So what I need to do is go to my switch, turn it back on, and on it comes back and I know that the that the Wi-Fi in the back I mean now that I know that the wireless in the back is off it's perfect so I'll never forget it being on because I will lose my screen let's try it again okay so you get the no signal I hit reverse and it's back up and I guess later you could change the camera and if I really want you know if I, this lines really bothered me after a while I guess I can run the line from the back and go direct so but I'm happy with it so let's let's go back to neutral you lose that so now you're like oh my god I gotta turn my switch back on again man back it goes and I think that's that man well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, it was really cool putting that camera on. Now, I think, uh, I don't know, the the DVR forward camera. I don't know. So, I think that's, uh, we can call that done. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate all your help, guys. I will talk to you in our next video. Later.